Good morning to you and welcome on this frosty morning in Cookham to our Friday prayers. Today our reading is about the miracle of the feeding of the 5,000, the only miracle to be included in all four of the Gospels. And today we hear St Mark's record in his sixth chapter. The miracle follows the arrest and the beheading of John the Baptist, after whom our church in Cookham Dean is named. Jesus' disciples placed John's body in a tomb and then returned, obviously distraught, to Jesus. He took them away in a boat to a deserted place before returning to face the huge crowds who were following him. As Jesus went ashore, he saw a great crowd and he had compassion for them because they were like sheep without a shepherd. And he began to teach them many things. When it grew late, his disciples came to him and said, This is a deserted place and the hour is now very late. Send them away so that they may go into the surrounding country and villages and buy something for themselves to eat. But he answered them, You give them something to eat. They said to him, Are we to go and buy two hundred denarii worth of bread and give it them to eat? And he said to them, How many loaves have you? Go and see. When they had found out, they said, Five and two fish. Then he ordered them to get all the people to sit down in groups on the green grass. So they sat down in groups of hundreds and of fifties. Taking the five loaves and two fish, he looked up to heaven and blessed and broke the loaves and gave them to his disciples to set before the people. And he divided the two fish among them all. And all ate and were filled, and they took up twelve baskets full of broken pieces and of the fish. Those who had eaten the loaves numbered five thousand men. This is the word of the Lord. There are a great many message, messages which spring to mind from this reading. The first, to me, is Mark's report that Jesus had compassion on the crowd because they were like sheep without a shepherd. Although I have never counted, there are apparently more than 500 references to sheep and shepherds in the Bible, very often likening God's people to sheep and Christ as the shepherd. Now some people might be very confused by this metaphor if their knowledge of shepherding is based on television programs of farmers on quad bikes with barking dogs chasing sheep to where they might not want to go. But in biblical times, a shepherd lived with his sheep. He knew everyone and they knew and trusted him, for he would protect them guard them and lead, not drive them, to safety and fresh pasture. Hence, Christ the shepherd of us, his flock. Another point to note is that whilst, feeding the, whilst the feeding of 5,000 people with five loaves and two fish is indeed miraculous, we should remember that the Greek word used in this account specifies men, and St Matthew's version further emphasises the scale of the miracle by adding, besides women and children. Many biblical scholars believe that the actual number fed that day could have been as many as 15 to 20,000 people. Now in this post-Christmas period, when some of us perhaps regret 
having eaten quite so much and are trying to lose a few pounds, talk of food and all that was left over is perhaps an unnecessary temptation. But whilst the feeding of the body might not be a high priority for us now in the developed world, perhaps we should pay more attention to the feeding of our minds and our spirits. And that's where Christ, the Good Shepherd, can really help. Throughout the trials of the last few months, with many churches having to close for much of the time, worship, prayer and Bible studies have been made available in new formats through the internet and Zoom, and regular churchgoers have been joined by a very large number of new followers. Now, whether you are new to or long-standing in your faith, the time is now approaching to come and see, in the words of our bishops, who have invited us to explore our faith, to refresh and develop it, and explore new ways of doing so. In coming weeks, we in the Cookhams will be offering opportunities to do just that. And so please watch out in our online Pew News and parish magazines for details. So let us pray. Lord God, we praise and thank you for the ready availability of food for all our needs. We pray for help to ensure that the whole world shares in your bounty and for our generation to take more care of the precious resources with which you have provided us. And we ask this in the name of Christ, our Saviour and the miracle feeder of mind and body. Amen. And now please join with me as we pray in the words which Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. And so, as we close for today, let us say the grace together. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all, now and for evermore. Amen. So farewell for now, and I do hope that you will check our church websites for upcoming details of our worship and other activities, and join in with us. Farewell. <laughs>